All right, so now we've got all our sounds on our SD card. We're going to put our SD card in the Scare Master. And now we're ready to go. So what we want to do is load the sounds from our SD card here into the internal memory of our BooBox Flex. Our BooBox Flex actually doesn't require an SD card to be inserted to play sounds. There's a small amount of internal memory in here which is usually sufficient for holding a couple minutes of sound, which is what most props need. Um, it would be very pricey for prop manufacturers to have to include an SD card with every single prop to just include 30 seconds of sound. So we put a little bit of internal memory in here, which is usually more than sufficient for most purposes. So we're going to go into our menu, go down to our show menu, and then go down to one of these three options. We have upload sounds, Upload Show and Upload Show SD. Upload Sounds will do just like it says. It'll just upload the sounds and it will leave the animation on the controller intact. But very handy if you've already programmed your animation and you like it and all you want to do is change the sound a little bit. Upload Show uploads the sound and the animation from the card. And Upload Show SD does the exact same thing but does it a little bit quicker using the card here. If you have a lot of sound, it can actually take quite a while to transfer over the cable, so if that's the case, use Upload Show SD. So we'll just choose Upload Show. We're going to hit Enter. Now it's going to show us the list of shows that were inside the FI Shows folder that we saw on the computer. So we see the show 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now we see our demo folder there. So we're going to choose our demo show and hit Enter. Now you can see it's uploading sound 1-0, which is the input 1 sound, scene 0. You can see the little indicator here, that keeps blinking, letting you know that the transfer is in progress. Once it's finished, then we'll be ready to program our new animation with our new sound. Alright, so we're all set. So, I've put a little a uh, little notepad here. We've got we have to simulate this little piece of paper being our prop. So we've got a smoke machine, the prop's mouth, a head, a arm, and an up just to raise the prop up. So play along with me here as we make our fake prop. So we'll hit record. On the first pass we're gonna leave all our outputs on and we'll just, but even though all our outputs are on, we're just going to worry about one of the units or one of our outputs. So let's do number five here, the up. So we'll hit record and our sound will start. <laughs> come here, you. Lift them up. I think up. it's time for me to come. You look like a pumpkin for a change. I think it's time for me to stick a knife into your belly and spill your guts out to see what Maybe you make them look twitch like around a little inside. bit. After all, it is Halloween. <laughs> and now we'll lower the prop back down. Alright, so we'll stop that. Now what we'll do, we'll disable 5 because we've already finished our 5. So now, maybe we'll work on arm and the head at the same time. So I'm going to disable all but the arm and the head, which is 3 and 4. So this time when I hit record, it'll the body will lift up, as we told it to last time, and I'm just going to work on those two. So we'll just turn the head once in a while. Make it look alive. Lift the arm up. Lower the arm. Turn the head. Just do some random movement. That's it. Alright, now we'll work on our smoke. That's a pretty easy one. Get some smoke coming out of your smoke machine right away. I think it's time for me to come. You look like a pumpkin for a change. I think it's time for me to stick a knife into your bellies. You get the idea. So we go the whole way with the smoke. Now we'll do our last one in the mouth. These ones can be a little bit tricky. So. We'll do the mouth you usually want to do all by itself, so let's try that one. <laughs> come here, you. I think it's time for me to come. You look like a pumpkin for a change. I think 
think it's time for me to stick a diaper to your belly and spill your guts out to see what you look like on the inside. After all, it is Halloween. <laughs> and there, I made that little mistake at the end on purpose because I want to show you another feature of the Scare Master here. What we can do is we can punch in while we're playing back. So, in that exact example there, we were doing quite well with the mouth up until swartly and closer to the end of the of the sound. So it would be a pain if we had to go and redo that whole 20 seconds of perfect mouth movement only to fix the last two or three seconds. So what we can do is we can just play back and then when it gets to the point where we want to record we just while it's playing back just hold the record button and then do whatever we want to do with the output and then when we're done we let go. So let's try that now. Come here, you. I think it's time for me to carve you up like a pumpkin. So let's say we want to punch in here. So I'll just press record. And now I can just modify it. Then I could punch out if I wanted. And it would go back to whatever it was doing. And that's it. So it'll stop when it's finished. So now we've built our entire show, and uh, basically all we need to do now is save it. So as I showed you before, we can go into the menu, we could go to save changes, hit enter, and it would save it to the card and save it to the controller. But we also have some shortcuts that you can use. If you hold enable here, you'll see it'll say keep holding enable for tips. So you can hold enable and tap record to save it. Hold enable tap play from menu, that's what we've been doing. Hold play to select a scene, or hold record for DMX channels menu. We'll work on that one in another tutorial later on. So, we wanted to save. Hold enable tap record. Real quick way to just save, so you don't have to go in the menu and come back out. Alright, now we're done. You can see we've got demo, everything's already saved. So now, if you wanted to select scenes, let's try one of the other shortcuts. Rather than having to go into the scene menu and say select scene, you can just hold the play button for a couple seconds and we can just slide these and select our different scenes. So if you wanted to do something for the input 2, you just slide this up and then go input 2. If you wanted to program an ambient scene, we could just go in here and use ambient scene. The C there, where it says 4C, that's the amount of DMX channels that it's using. So we actually had something programmed in there previously that had a couple DMX channels. So that's why you see the 4C there. If there's no DMX being used, then that's usually blank. Oh, actually, let's go back to our input one. And there we go. So we've saved it. We did um, all of our programming. We're all done. We can disconnect this and go away. I want to show you one more thing. Let's pretend that we did a recording. <laughs> Come here, you. I think it's time for me to... Okay, now let's pretend we did that and we disconnect it without saving. And we're like, oh no, we forgot. Well, we've got a little neat feature built in. If you plug it back in after doing that, it will ask you, did you forget to upload? So if you say yes, then what it's going to do is recover the scenes. So now that work that we just did before we saved was actually re like brought back. It was recovered. So if you spent like 10 minutes trying to get something just right and then you forgot to save and unplugged it, don't worry, your work's not lost. Just plug it back in. And when it says, did you forget to save or forget to upload, just say yes. All right, I think that concludes our demonstration. So hopefully it was useful to some of you Scaremaster owners, and I'll look forward to making some more videos for you soon.